Imagine you're driving down the street, you see a new restaurant, you take out your Windows Mobile, and you are able to check out the restaurant menu, even get a number to call for reservations. Here to explain how this amazing new technology works is Michael Lo Patriello from Luna. Congratulations, what a great idea. Oh, thank you, Ann. It's how actually not our idea. It's uh, been pretty popular in Japan. Okay. Uh, they started implementing it about four years ago. And it's really taken off in the last 18 months over there. So our role is really just to bring it over here to Canada and hopefully into the United States after that. How many uh, things can be accessed? You know, we just used the example of making a reservation at a, at a restaurant. Give me some really interesting ways that this technology can be used to make life easier. There's all sorts of ways. I mean, the, the applications are virtually endless. The most common one is advertising. 85% of the companies in Japan are using it for advertising right now. In so what way? Get, How would that be used? You get really targeted advertising delivered to your phone. So if you're passing by a billboard on the Gardner Expressway and you see a, you know, a picture of some shoes that you like and it's got a, a little QR code there, you can use Luna's application on a Windows mobile device, snap a picture of that barcode, and have more information about that pair of shoes. My passion right to your device. is real estate. Would, there you it be, go. would it work in that respect as okay, well? Okay, so a real estate scenario, for example, you're in your car, you're passing by a real estate sign, you're interested in the house that you're purchasing, right? Or you may be purchasing. You can snap the code and find out that it's four bedrooms, two baths, it's listed at 285,000, here's the real estate agent, et cetera, et cetera. It's all right there available on your phone. Next thing you know, they'll be using it at bars and nightclubs so that you can do that about the person that you meet and you see and you wanna know more about them. You could do that at events if you wanted. You know, trade shows, that kind of thing where people used to scan, you know, cards and that sort yeah. of stuff. You could just have the QR barcodes right on your admission badge on a t-shirt, that sort of thing. So lots of applications for it. Show me how it works. You've okay. got everything here to show us. Right on. Yeah, it's a nice little setup here. So you'll be able to see on the monitor what's happening. It's actually coming off the cell phone despite what it looks like. So if we scroll down, we'll launch the uh, Luna Blitz CapX application. This is done completely in Windows Mobile. So here's our application, and you're able to see that we have the camera on screen. So I have the barcode over here, and as soon as I scan the barcode on the phone, automatically picks up that it, the fact that it's a web page. Yep. We hit access, and there we are loading up a, a website. So just one example. That's fantastic. Yeah. Are there any anything that you need to caution people about? You know, <clears throat> there is always a concern, and, yeah. and this is uh, you know being the, the Elmer the safety elephant here. That's an extra bit of activity. If you and you've mentioned several examples whereby you're, you're driving by and you're getting information. Yes. So is there? I mean, there, it gets kind of complicated because you're you're driving a vehicle, but you've got this information at hand, and it seems to be when you're out on the road that you're exposed to uh, many different situations right. where this would come in handy. Yes. It's one of those things you have to use your discretion. I mean, I don't like people seeing people drive down the street with a cell phone in their hand. You know, it's, it's clogging things up. People are doing 20K slower. So I don't expect people to be snapping pictures as the driver while they're going down the gardener. But for the rest of the people in the car, it's fine. And as far as the information that's going back and forth, it's just like browsing to a website or anything else. Yeah. Most of the time, you know, you're using your discretion, you're figuring out what you're doing, and our role is to educate people on where that stuff is applicable. So you've explained how it benefits the consumer. Let's Big talk time. about how it benefits the business. That's the important part, yeah. right? So for businesses, it has all sorts of implications. Everything from inventory control to logistics to really driving more information to, you know, their consumers. Um, we've built a whole series of solutions around that that we're going to be launching to businesses come the end of January. So maybe we can chat about it then a little yeah. bit more. Can you tip, tip your hand a little bit right yeah, now? Yeah, sure. I can't wait till January. <laughs> All right. Um, as far as, say, the retail market's concerned, you'll be able to go into a store, anybody that's implemented this. So you go to, uh, you know, your big box retailer, and you have a coach that you're interested in, and you want to find out a little bit more information about it. You simply scan it with your QR code phone. You have a look at, uh, you know, online customer reviews, mm -hmm. um, prices. Maybe there's a better price online for the same sort of thing. All those sorts of, you know, extra pieces of information that are really valuable to the consumer, which will drive more sales for the retailer. How do you uh, convince consumers that this is a necessary tool? I wouldn't say that it's a necessary tool, but it's one of those things that I don't sure, I'm not sure people would want to live without. I mean, it's such a convenience. I don't think cell phones are a necessary tool unless you're a surgeon, but... Oh, but you know what? They've saved lives. I'll they tell do you. Save, save lives. They do. Some situations right. where cell phones have been available where they weren't yeah. decades ago, where they've been able to let people know where they are in dire situations and communicate in ways that we never had before. That's very true. But in a lot of ways, they're still a big convenience item. So this is another one of those sorts of conveniences, right? Another great example, and I love this one, in Tokyo you want to flag down a cab. Well, I don't know the phone number for a cab in Tokyo. Yeah. 
the cab's passing by, I can whip out my phone, snap a picture of the code. It'll already have the number set up for me right there in my phone. I hit dial and I can call a cab if I could speak Japanese. So, it, <laughs> domo arigato, that's all I know. That's all you need. <laughs> Bensaki. That's right. So, it, it only works, obviously, if, if the consumer's on board, the business is on board. How, yes. how well have you done as far as getting this right across the country? We're in talks with the carriers right now to have this loaded on all the new devices coming from all the major carriers. What are we talking cost-wise? Uh, for the consumer? Yes. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Really? This, hard, uh, this software will be loaded on your hardware, either from the device manufacturer or from uh, your carrier, that sort of thing. And on the manufacturer's side, the retailers, those guys, they can go up to our website, use the Luna Q Render application that we're on right now, and if you want to create a, a URL to go to, you know, your business, um, I love my, my barber, so we'll say Gentleman's <laughs> Choice. He just got a nice little plug, didn't he? There you he? go. And he did a fabulous job on well, your thank hair. Thank you very much. Way. It's what most people notice about me, if nothing <laughs> else, right? So you can generate the QR code right there on, uh, on the website, and now he can just copy that down, and he can slap that on his business card that he's handing out to people and book an appointment right there on the spot. Incredible. Now, uh, what fantastic. about competition? Is there any? Competition for mm. us? Yes. Not so much. The more that this is adapted in, uh, into everyone's sort of everyday life, yeah. the better position that we're in to really push out some of the cool solutions. The first part for us is to get this on all the devices and start getting manufacturers and retailers to, you know, include QR barcodes on their products. Would it work just in Canada if that's where you're, you're focused? If you travel to the States to do shopping or to visit, would, would the same system apply? Yeah, it would be the same system. These codes are standardized. Yeah. Um, the patent's owned by the company in Japan. They don't exercise any patent rights over it, and it's actually now uh, a standard with the ISO in, in Switzerland yeah. that we licensed it from. So the cool part is that it's, it's an open standard. Anybody can use these things. Anybody can generate them for free on our website. And as soon as the software is loaded onto everyone's devices, they'll be able to use it. And when will it actually make a lot of sense? At this point, you're still at the, at the, uh, the new and young stage of this whole concept. In Canada and in the U.S., yes. Yeah. When will it actually be a, a situation where everywhere you go in Toronto or everywhere you go in Vancouver, you can do this? It's a really fast-paced market, so I'd imagine yeah. within the next six months, you're going to start seeing this really soon. And we're in talks with advertisers, so you're going to see it fast. Optimistic and well-groomed. Thank you very All much. Right. <laughs> nice to work with you. Thanks very much.